That's when you turn and you slow it down my hand and throw it in your face. Do it. Look awesome. It's cinematic. Yeah, because my videos have cinematic value. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. They have this. They would. They have this. They have chaos. They would if you listen to me. They have chaos. Nacho has been on one. He is definitely gonna be going to doggy daycare today. Nacho, those cats do not like you. Oh my gosh, you couldn't see my little raccoon sign. This is the first time I filmed anything at all this year. I have just been getting caught up on everything I filmed at the end of last year. My horses did not do a lot in January. It was a really bad month with Bacardi surgery right at the beginning of the year and then the bad weather after that. It just, there was a lot going on. So really only like the past two weeks my horses have been doing anything. I'm hoping today I'll be able to jump a lot of them. I don't really know what it's gonna be because they have not jumped in a while, but we just need to get it done and get them back doing something. That you can't focus You haven't been yourself in a minute And I know that your mom's been sick It's been a while since we talked about it I don't know how to ask if you're okay Nacho Hey, you're not a pony, you're a corgi But you should know at the end of the day When you don't know how to be strong You can Our next mission is to go find Nacho because I opened the side door and Nacho ran out and now I just need to make sure that he's still on the property. We're gonna go put him at daycare and then we'll just see him later. I got the goats and chickens taken care of. Nacho is dropped off at daycare. Horses have been fed. I'm down in the hay barn to get the tractor. I'm gonna drag the outdoor, get the jump set for Aqua this morning. I would sneak in for videoing so you didn't know I was here. I and that's when you turn and slip down my hand throw and it throw it into your face. Saturdays back in 05. Flip pops with the socks high. My dad was driving me down to the diamond. Marco's staring at me like, please help. Send help. Oh, buddy. I'm Marco sorry, buddy. Not like that, Dad. buddy. He loves me. <laughs> I told you, she's going to headbutt you. She's going to hurt you. Always starving for my 
purpose maybe i ain't found it yet honest questions with my mother ow that hurt my knuckles all these things you think you want will they ever be enough looking for the answers where they used to be at the center of it all for everyone to see if i lose all the attention aqua was surprisingly really really good today i did not expect her to be that good i was definitely prepared to have a little bit of shenanigans from her but she was really good and she actually jumped to six for the first time in a very long time she has not really jumped over two foot since she's been coming back for her injury so i'm pretty excited about that it looked huge on her because i'm so used to like the little tiny jumps with her the next weekend i jumped aqua again and she felt great so we put more of the jumps up and it went really well i'm extremely happy with how things have been going with her lately bacardi is in the indoor acting like a total nut job he is definitely aware that he's feeling a lot better he is over it he wants to be outside with his friends and he just can't have that yet i feel so bad he's supposed to be being quiet but these past couple days he's been kind of a nut <laughs> bella is on marco so i'm gonna head out there she's gonna have a lesson on him and then chloe is gonna get on him for a few minutes after so that she can jump him too that would be enough for me my horse has this entire indoor to poop in and that's where he pooped looking for the answers where they used to be at I forgot to ask you earlier, were you happy to jump again? Yes. 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 Yeah. Yes, I was. Ow. Chloe jumped Marco again a few weeks later and they looked great together, so here's some video from that. Bella's changing Roxy's saddle pad for like the 12th time today. Because it has to be perfect. It has to be the perfect match. Mm -hmm. There. Did you see how good the match is? The yeah. match is so good. Now I changed That's it. That's the one. Don't yeah. change it again. What do you mean now you tack up the pony? This is the 12th time you put a saddle on her. Are you happy you got to jump your pony? Oh yes, very. Yeah, she was. And that she was a lot same. nicer. <laughs> she was a lot nicer for you than she was for me. Yeah. Earlier in the week, I jumped Roxy, and it was the first time she jumped in quite a while. And let's just say she was a little excited about it. But thankfully, she's been a lot better over these past few weeks.
Chloe also got a jump Roxy a few weekends after I filmed this vlog and they looked really good together. Bella thinks she can do this line in five strides. She seems very confident that her canter stride is as big as a large pony's. You better gallop! <laughs> You're running! <laughs> I don't know how to count horse stride. Okay, human strides. <laughs> Six and a half. So short. I'm gonna have to like kneel down. Tilly was really, really good today. She's had the most time off of all the horses because once I that was rude. Once I kind of stopped riding her, it was really, really hard to find motivation to get back on her because I thought she was just gonna turn back to how she was, but she was really good. I was so happy with Tilly on the day I filmed this vlog and then I jumped her again a few weeks later and she was even better, so here's some video from that. The horses have been <laughs> really good today. <laughs> so I just have Kane left. It's all on him. He's either gonna make this day really good or really bad. And I'm hoping he's good so so that you can start so riding him again. <laughs> Feed her. She'll get hangry. Chloe, don't get dirt in her eye. Now she can see. Got me dizzy, head is spinning when she comes around. She's got a way about her. She's got a way about her. Now she's the only thing that keeps me in this lonely town. She's got a way. I'll just stick with this little theme I have going and put some more video of Kane from the following weekend in here too. What are you doing? A little more. That's good. Wait, maybe like one second more. I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding.
Yeah. No, you didn't. I did. Everybody interrupted me. Well, Even Bacardi. No, I'm perfect. Come on. So I was told to walk out with the blanket. Oh my gosh, Bella, can you believe what? <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Go. I was told to walk out with the blanket, but then when I got close to Bacardi, I was told wait. So I figured it had to be one of two options. Either one, she didn't trust me enough to put on the blanket, so she had to do it herself to be perfect. Or the second option is she thought it would be so funny as bad as I would do it. She had to get it on film. No, I just wanted either to, or. I just wanted it out here so I didn't have to walk back in to get it, and I wanted you to film. What? Fix his neck. Dude. Come on. Watson, don't be a turd. <laughs> Watson, did he go to the pen inside? He's now he is, yes. Come on, you turd. Watson, I'm not happy with you. Are they all in there? Watson! 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 Can't. I'm so taking the hill. How are you gonna get them down? They're gonna. F it's not going to work. One trip. This is absolutely ridiculous. Why did you import her to your cholera? The look of guilt. He has no guilt. He's not even looking at me. Look at his belly. He got a big belly. Oh. The barn is done. It's almost seven o'clock. It's actually like 6.45. I am gonna go inside and take a shower and get some rest before we do this all again tomorrow. The next morning I jumped bits. He's not really doing anything too exciting right now. He's still just jumping small stuff. Our goal right now is to just stay calm and rideable over the fences. After bits, Bella had a lesson on Roxy and Chloe had a lesson on Marco. Changing up your mind like a spin 